pip uses incorrect cached package version instead of the user specified version. I need to install scikit 2 v 2.4.1 specifically. I accidentally did. Instead of. That installs 2.4.4 instead of the earlier version. Now even after I pip uninstall scikit 2 and attempt to reinstall with the correct version, it appears that pip is reusing the cache it downloaded the first time. How can I force pip to clear out its download cache and use the specific version I'm including in the command? If using pip 6.0 or newer, try adding the no cache dear option, source. If using pip older than pip 6.0, upgrade it with pip install you pip. Clear the cache directory where appropriate for your system. Linux and Unix. OS X. Windows. Update. With pip 20.1 or later, you can find the full path for your operating system easily by typing this in the command line. Example output on my Ubuntu installation. With pip 20.1 or later, you can do pip cache remove matplotlib, removes all will files related to matplotlib from pip's cache, pip cache purge to clear all will files from pip's cache, pip cache dear to get the location of the cache. If you want to not use the pip cache for some reason, which is a bad idea, according the official docs, your options are pip install no cache dear, package install a package without using the cache. For just this run, pip config set global, dot no cache dear false, configure pip to not use the cache globally, in all commands. Some history around this question puts on pip maintainer hat. The specific issue of installing the wrong version due to caching issue mentioned in the question was fixed in pip 1.4 back in 2013. Fix a number of issues related to cleaning up and not reusing build directories. Number 413, number 709, number 634, number 602, number 939, Number 865, number 948. Since pip 6.0, back in 2014, pip install, pip download and pip will commands can be told to avoid using the cache with the no cache dear option. For example pip install no cache dear package. Back then, yes, passing no cache dear was the only option to avoid this bug. So, it's a bit unfortunate that this is the top search result on pip cache remove. Smile. Since pip 10.0, back in 2018, a pip config command was added, which can be used to configure pip to always ignore the cache. This was always possible by manually editing the relevant files, but this surfaced that ability to the command line. Details on pip's configuration mechanisms is available here. Since pip 20.1, pip has a pip cache command to manage the contents of pip's cache. From documentation at this URL. Starting with v6.0, PIP provides an on by default cache which functions similarly to that of a web browser. While the cache is on by default and is designed to do the right thing by default you can disable the cache and always access PIPI by utilizing the no cache dear option.
Thank you.